What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and I have another model unboxing because, well, I did hit a thousand subscribers, so I figured I'd get myself another model to celebrate the occasion, even though I did have the whole uh, three-part three 1,000 subscriber special that I did over the weekend, so again, thanks for all that. Uh, thanks for all your support, and I really do appreciate it. But, um, let's go ahead and open the uh, package. It's been a while since I've opened one of these things, so it'll be a little interesting. Alright, we're going to open it like that. Get you a little zoomed in there too much, but that's fine. Got some newspaper. Newspaper in here. But we do have the item. It's another model. It's an NG one this time. It is the Swoop 737-800. Uh, registration Charlie-Golf-Delta Mike Papa. I believe this is from the July releases, the same release as the Spirit Airbus A321 that I got. Um, I did consider getting this, but I kind of passed up on it, but considering I, I'm, I am celebrating an occasion, I figured I'd just get this one to fill in the gap. And there's his database sticker. Left it on there once again, uh, 80609. So, let's head up to the studio and unbox this. Alright, here we go for the unboxing of the Swoop 737-800 by NG Models. I love the pink on this. Um, start off at the front, we got the Boeing 737-800 titles up at the top. You got the computer generated image of the plane. You have the Swoop logo, the registration, NG Model logo, the licensing stamp. And then they also have the tail design enlarged on the front of the box. So there's a the tail design right there. Got like a bit of a white trail following behind a silhouette of a plane. And that's just enlarged across the entire front of the box. And another thing I just noticed is that you can barely see the another version of the Swoop logo. It's like in a slightly lighter shade of pink. It's barely visible. It's only, I think it's only visible if you look at it in a brighter light scenario. At the bottom we have 730-7800 NG computer generated image registration. On the side we have the Swoop logo, the 1400 scale um, collectible models die cast metal. 730-7800 NG. Uh, top is the same as the bottom, and the left is the same side as the right. And then here's the back of the box, kind of the same thing as the front, but you got all the disclaimers and stuff. Uh, 58067 is the item number. So let's pop this thing open. This will be my first um, Canadian 737, I think. I'm also getting a WestJet soon, so hopefully... Um, that will complement this really well. It's a little bit difficult to see here. This studio is too small. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Not really careful there, but we got it out. Man, that looks cool. Happy Halloween, everybody. I am filming this on Halloween. However, with my aforementioned uh, 1,000 subscriber special, this will not be uploaded on the uh, same day or the next day. It's actually going out on Monday as we approach the new month of November. So we're almost at the end of 2020. We will make it. Start off at the front, we got the cockpit windows. You got the anti-glare um, thing on the nose, which looks pretty cool. You can find that on some old aircraft, but I think WestJet still kind of has it at some point. Um, there's also the uh, name of the aircraft. It's kind of hard to see. Text will pop up uh, saying what it is, but I think it's labeled as like O Canada or something, but I think that may be incorrect. Uh, not really sure. I'll zoom back out. Got the L1 boarding door right here. The big swoop billboard titles. You also got the split tip winglets, which look really good on this model. Got the uh, SATCOM dome up here, some antennas. I got the Canadian flag, I think that says Proudly Canada. It just says the Proudly text and then the Canadian flag. Yep, it does. Got Boeing 737-800 underneath the windows, the full registration code, and then you got the tail along with an internal registration code at the top. Take a look underneath. Uh, nothing too much going on here, just the usual details, but it is mostly a white underbelly. But I do notice a little bit of another detail here on the other side. You got the full registration code on the underneath of the wing. 
Also got some emergency over wing exits I just spotted. That looks really good. And there's also, I think we got some detailing with the APU as well. Looks to be a little bit off maybe. It looks a little like slanted downward. Also got a bit of a tail strike preventer thingamajig, whatever they call it. Um, other than that, there's not much else to this plane. It's the traditional NG73070-100. This is my, oh my goodness, how many do I have? Um, I've got the Alaska, the Sun Country, the United, uh, Southwest Canyon Blue. Um, then we have the Swoop, and I also have another Sun Country. Yeah, I've lost track at this point. I've got way too many, but I think I have like six or seven um, NG 737s now, but the mold is really good. Um, they did have some issues with the nose landing gear being a little bit too tall, but they have corrected it. It's gotten a little bit lower and lower over the months. They're also adding a little wheel hub detail as well. Um, looks a lot better than some of the older planes. And that is about it. This will be the last plane before Christmas, so I knew I said with the Delta Thank You unboxing that that plane would be the last one I would get until Christmas. But to celebrate the occasion of me hitting 1,000 subs, I figured I'd get one more model, and then I would begin the long wait to Christmas. So, it's actually not that long. It's about just under two months, so I'll definitely survive without any new models between now and then. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.